Hey, Logan's Cards and More back here with another video. This is part two of my coin coin collection. Alright, these... Oh, oh. These are just two rolls of the 1909 Lincoln just commemorative sets. I just thought those were pretty cool just to set aside. And then here are some Canadian pennies. The one... There was... One box I opened, oh, and it had nothing but the super old ones. I think they were, yeah, they were from 1920, 1929. I think it was somebody just had them and they realized they weren't worth anything. Because Canada doesn't make them no more. Um, I think it's this roll that the old school, old one pennies are in. Yeah, here we go. They're not too, they're not worth a whole heck of a lot, but they're just really cool to have, just in case. If they're not worth any in the worst case scenario, you can sell them for copper, because these ones are solid copper. Like, there's a 1929. I have some, all these modern ones are either from me, going to my change and finding them there's 1920 but pretty much that entire roll is just the old school ones but then I have another roll of just newer Canadian pennies those are the copper and zinc ones those aren't really worth those are steel so they're not worth anything so they're just something cool to have they're, they have absolutely no value I think when I looked them up I think they said they were Unless it's like an S or a low mintage year. I think they said they're worth like not even a quarter of a penny. So they're, yeah, they're hardly worth anything. So then back on that pack. And the rest of these pennies we have are wheat pennies. And here's the open roll I have. I think I, cause there's three rolls completely full of wheat pennies. I'm not going to show you them all, but then there's this half one. And some of these are in really decent condition. Like there's a 1944D, and besides that down there, it's in fairly good condition. Then I actually pulled in this, this penny out of a roll, the 1935D. I can't remember. No, because I pulled a 1909. Sadly, it wasn't a v, VDB, but it was in fairly decent condition. There's a 1929. I mean, 39. But, yeah, they've got a lot of, like, 1955. I almost, uh, I thought I had a um, 55 double strike because it was moved off a little bit on it but it was just it was stamped at an angle where and it had a little dirt underneath it so it looked like it was a double di double strike error but it wasn't and then I have four 1944 three uh, steel cents those are in decent condition this one's in poor condition and then the last coin I have you this 1959 uh, 59 don't look like it's, it's Philadelphia uh, uh, Benjamin quarter I mean Benjamin half dollar uh, my dad actually got this for me he put just one this out of a free contest and then I have some bills that I was gonna these are my older and foreign bills that I have. That's uh, from World War II. This is when they had their money. It's the military payment certificate. I think this one was... I can't find it on there, but I've seen other ones on eBay sell for like $30. But those are from 1944 or 45. And then here's a 1953 uh, $5 bill. A red stamp. I think it's pretty cool. Sadly, I don't have the cases to put them in. This is a really nice 
it's off centering though, but it's a 1935 silver certificate dollar. It's sad if it wasn't off certificate. If it wasn't, uh, if the centering was better, I would probably have send it in to be graded because there's not a lot of creasing on it compared to a bill like this. This is a 1938 two dollar bill. It's in poor condition. And we just have a few modern day two dollar bills. And then these, this one I actually found when I was going through books. That fell out of there. It's a five dollar German bill. And these, this one, I think I just bought that one for like a quarter or something. And then these, when my dad went overseas, he from he went over to Kuwait. This is the Kuwaitian money, however the heck you say it. And then there's ones, like there's, I think, because he said like one dollar here is like five dollars over there. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Just make sure to keep your eye out for the coin roll hunting videos. If you like these videos, like, comment, and subscribe.